We are going to be working with Google Draw to create mosaics. A mosaic is the art of creating images with small pieces of color. It is an art form that has been around for about 4,000 years. Ancient mosaics used colored stones, shells, and ivory. Over the years, artists began using small pieces of glass. Sometimes in art class, you might use cut up pieces of construction paper or magazines for the different colors. Here are some ancient examples of mosaics. Mosaics were either done on the floor or on a wall, and they were used to communicate different ideas through the images for that culture. Here are some more current mosaics, and you can see that some of them have used glass as the little pieces of broken up color. We are going to be using Google Draw to make our mosaic. Think about what type of mosaic you would like to create. After you have watched the how to, this how to make a Google Draw mosaic video, you can get started. You'll want to choose an uncomplicated image that is not copyrighted like a team logo. Get started with the polyline line tool and colors and have fun. To get started on your Google Drawing, you want to go to your drive, select new, select more, and click on Google Drawings. Once you open that up, you can title it and we can get started. So I have gone to the Google Drive and selected more and gone to Google Draw. I'm having to do this video over because it was recording on the box screen. So I'm starting over. So I'm going to title my Google Drawing. You can put it as Palmer Owl Mosaic or whatever you want to put, but have your name in there. If you click right click on the background and click background, you can select black as your background. That's the first step. Then you're going to go insert image from the web and you can search on different things like owl drawing or owl illustration. And once you scroll and find the image that you want, and I had already selected this one, and now I'm having to do it over again, fun times, and select insert. Once your image shows up, if you use one of the side or top squares to enlarge, it is going to enlarge one direction. If you use the corner, it is going to enlarge proportionally, well, it should, both ways. So I don't know why this is not working. You can manipulate it and move it. There we go. Once you have it the size that you want, you're going to go insert, line, polyline. So insert, line, polyline. Once you do that, you can start clicking and creating your mosaic shapes. And it will just turn it white or this light blue, but I am going to choose to make it orange. You can do it the same for the picture that you have, or you can make it your own color. But once you choose the color, it is going to keep filling with that color until you change it. Then, if you want to move one of those, you can hit the select button, or maybe you want to delete it you can actually select it and move it a little bit to the location that you want it. Or you can hit delete if you didn't like how it turned out. Then you have to go back and select your polyline again. And then you can go to your next section. For this one, I am going to choose purple. So you're clicking for each of the four corners of the polyline tool, making your shapes and leaving spaces in between to create your mosaic. You're going to need many pieces of color to create your project. 
Once you have done that and you have finished or maybe you want to see how it looks in between, you click your select button, you click on your background image, and you click delete. And then you can see there, my mosaic has been started. You then can go click the undo button to get that main image back. But what you'll be turning in will be just your mosaic. I hope you like this project and have fun. So here are some examples of some mosaics using Google Draw. Make sure you find an original image that is not copyrighted and go have fun creating your mosaic.